Okay, this method of animal communication is available to all of us and we it works on the same level with every single living being on this planet from from a baboon to a domestic cat to a mouse to a bird um, even to insects we can communicate with insects in this way um, it's all about energy the physical differences don't matter at all it's all about energy and telepathic communication and trusting our intuition And I think we're with Angelina. This is Angelina. because I really have a passion for baboons and I think that it'll, the communication will really help us understand them. Well, although I see them every day, or at least every week, from my own home and when I'm out walking, there's a lot I don't know. So that's why I wanted to speak to Jenny um, and Winter and find out more about what their behaviour patterns are how to age them, how to identify them, and how to have a better understanding of what, they're, what they do in life and how they're feeling. I thought it was an amazing opportunity to be reminded how lucky we are to have the baboons so close to us, but also to combine it with the animal communication because we get so, I found I was getting so busy in my world and it's just a reminder to to take the time out and to trust one's intuition and to just be able to be with nature. So that was my main thing of wanting to come and try and learn some of that. We can communicate with animals to such an extent that we build a trust, a bond between animal and human. And the things we can get animals to do voluntarily is beautiful. Um, to such an extent that you can move animals from point A to point B without using force or aggression or fear. The animals willingly move just by simply communicating with them. He likes you. Ha, ha, ha.